In today's video, let's learn how to transition between two textures in the same material using a simple and fast method. I have here two node groups. The top one for the Dragon Scales shader and the bottom is for the ice material. Both of them are free from the kit library, and I have them mixed to the material output. A simple set, which you probably did by now if you want to mix two materials or two textures. Now by sliding the factor on the mix, we can switch from the ice texture to the scales. So we need to control the factor with something, and that would be the color ramp node added in the factor. We also need a gradient node in the ramp factor to make it as a transition and not just mixing them. Once you add the gradient node, switch the color ramp to constant type to see the effect clearly. And that's about the main idea behind the texture transition. We can slide the ramp from white to black to transition between the two materials we have. Furthermore, we can add a noise texture and mix it with the gradient node using a color mix. With this, we can control the noise parameters along with the color mix factor and get a better looking transition line between the two textures. To animate this, and I assume you have the Node Wrangler add-on enabled, you can select the gradient node and hit Control T to add both the mapping and coordinates. This way you can either control it from the location in the mapping node, or with a more easier approach, add an empty in the scene, then switch the texture coordinate to object and assign the empty there. With this, we can transform the empty with moving scaling and rotating to affect the transition. From here on, the animation is just key framing the empty object. So just select it and hit the I key to add two simple keyframes, and that can give you the transition animation you want. That's it. Subscribe if you're still here, and see you in another video. Stay sharp. Goodbye.